What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue, and today I have a quick little trick I learned while messing around with an idea I had for an episode of Awesome Add-Ons and I wanted to share it with you. That episode isn't quite ready yet, as I'm not really a savant at using this add-on, however I wanted to share this with you because it's actually pretty darn useful. If you end up liking this video, I have tons of other ones on the channel, so you might find something of interest there too. I do all sorts of WoW related content, covering anything from mounts, to guides, to add-ons and weak auras, and a bunch more. So yeah, you should join the Sheba Squad today, and become at least 36.5% more charming. So, let's dig in and start talking about Voodoo, and how you can use it as a DPS, or a tank. I'm sure any healers out there watching this will probably know what I'm talking about already, but for us DPS and tanking type people, Voodoo is actually a pretty good add-on to have as well. If you don't know about Voodoo, and no, not the troll type that you're supposed to stay away from, basically it's a healer interface that lets you simply click on these boxes here with a bunch of customizable key bindings. I eventually want to do a full healing guide slash tutorial video on this, but I need a little bit more time to put that one together because, you know, not a healer. I do have a holy paladin I mess around with every now and then, which is why I originally got this add-on in the first place. Voodoo allows you to simply click on party member frames in this little area here, and you can keybind things to each individual click. So now you're probably thinking, well, that's cool and all, but how is that going to help on a rogue? I could probably just make a macro to do that. Well, I'm notoriously bad about being a clicker when it comes to putting tricks of the trade on people. So I figured I would just use Voodoo to let me have just a frame for my tank and left click on it anytime I want to put tricks of the trade on him. So boom, as you can see, without having to change focuses or push a bunch of buttons and then click on my party frames, I'm able to put tricks of the trade on my tank in my group. Besides, having a mouse over macro means if you accidentally click on a person's character, it'd put tricks on them, which could end very poorly if you were, I don't know, flustered or something in the middle of a pull. So this way I can guarantee if I'm using it, it'll only go on a tank and that's it. This is going to be a pretty simple example, so I'll also show you something on a little bit more practical of a specialization you could use this on, but first I'll show you exactly how this add-on works. To open Voodoo, you'll type in forward slash Voodoo Opt, which will give you this interface. You'll then click on Spells, as you can see, I have just Tricks of the Trade on my left mouse click. As a warning, you have to spell it exactly the same or it won't work. Capitalization doesn't matter though, I'm just OCD. Okay, so I made a group that will only show tanks, since all I care about on my rogue is just putting tricks on a tank. So, to make a panel that only shows tanks, you'll have to click on the Move button down here, which will bring you to this interface again. Now you can see this little box below my cooldown trackers. You'll click the Choose button, and change the type to Special, and the value to Melee Tank. Otherwise, if you click Main Tank, it'll sometimes only show one if you're, like, in a raid. You'll then click OK. You can also drag and move this box around wherever you want to. I just keep mine near the center of my UI so I don't have to go too far to use tricks of the trade. Again, this is a pretty simple example, but it's very effective. I will show you how this add-on can be more useful though if you're on like a rep pally or something where you actually have a pretty big toolkit of healing slash utility for your group. So as you probably already know, Retribution Paladins have a pretty large toolkit including blessings, heals, and cleanses. However, using any of these as a DPS can sometimes be a bit of a hassle, other than like when you're just using them on yourself. Voodoo, however, will make this process practically painless if you haven't used something like it before. As you can see from my setup, I basically just have any move that can be used on an ally on a few keybinds for Voodoo. I also left it to show a separate section for just the tank, as well as Group 1. I do this mainly because I only really do Mythic Plus on my alts, I don't really raid on them, so I don't care about having all 8 groups showing, though you could very well expand this all the way up to a 40 man raid group if you're doing a world boss or anything crazy like that. Voodoo allows you to bind things with or without modifier keys, so for instance on my Paladin, when I right click it is cleanse toxins, but if I hold control and right click, it'll put out blessing of protection on my target. So, we'll close out of the Voodoo interface, and as you can see, I can now simply right-click on this Demon Hunter in Group 1 to cleanse toxins, or left-click to slap them with a flash of light if I really needed to. They are also the tank, so I have them separated out on the side just in case I had multiple Demon Hunters in my group so I didn't accidentally hit the wrong one or something. Voodoo will also change the colors of the health bars to show if it's something you can remove with whatever debuff removal spell you have in your specialization. So for instance, as a paladin with cleanse toxins, I can take off both poisons and diseases. 
Basically, voodoo can be used with anything that targets a friendly unit, so that includes things like trinkets, azurite essences, and all your abilities, of course. So, as a paladin, I could just put out Blessing of Freedom, Lay on Hands, and Blessing of Protection. Though, uh, I would highly recommend not putting Blessing of Protection on your tank unless they specifically asked for it, because they immediately lose all threat. So yeah, don't just throw that kind of move around all willy-nilly and make sure it's on a button you probably won't accidentally press. Again, this is more of a showcase of how a DPS or a tank can be more helpful to the group, and not exactly a full guide breakdown of how to use Voodoo, as it's really complex and can do far more than I mention here. Any utility you have that can help your group or raid team is always beneficial to know how to use very well, and this is a good way to start getting into the practice of doing it. If you guys do want a full-fledged Voodoo tutorial video though, let me know in the comments. I might do it as part of an awesome add-on series for Healing Interfaces 2, as I haven't covered any of those yet. I just need to uh, dust off this Paladin a little more often and heal some dungeons a couple times to get back into the swing of things. Anyways, I just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching, and an even bigger thank you to all the members of the Shiba Squad. I'm glad you guys liked the content and decided to stick around for more, as I have plenty more in the works already. If you're new here, I do uploads every weekday, and I try to cover a pretty wide variety of content. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.